Hello, this is Alec Kerr, the film critic for the Conway Daily Sun, with my thoughts on the first episode of The Tonight Show with Conan O'Brien. Now, Conan O'Brien is taking over for Jay Leno as the fifth host of The Tonight Show. Jay Leno will be moving to uh, the 10 o'clock time slot in the fall, and, and Jimmy Fallon is taking over uh, the Conan O'Brien uh, time slot with, uh, with Late Night. And uh, first episode, uh, initial thoughts? It's uh, the same old Conan O'Brien, just at a earlier uh, time slot, really. Uh, Max Weinberg and of the Max Weinberg Seven, uh, he's back band leading the band, and Andy Richter is back, uh, kind of taking the old uh, Ed, Ed McMahon role from when uh, Johnny Carson uh, did the show way back when, and. It's the same Conan O'Brien, so any fears that the shift from New York to L.A., something would would change, uh, those fears are unwarranted. Uh, show opened with this great bit with uh, Conan O'Brien running from New York to L.A. And what made this bit really work was it was very clearly not a green screen or blue screen effect. Uh, Conan O'Brien was really running in front of various uh, landmarks, uh, like he ran through Wrigley Field. Uh, across the country, and and it just made it it just made it work. Uh, there was another great bit uh, where uh, Conan O'Brien took over the Universal Tram Tour and took it out on the streets of L.A. and it was a very funny bit. Uh, there was also a bit with uh, Conan O'Brien's Ford Torres and and bringing that to to L.A. and kind of uh, showing how his his car is still a sexy car. Uh, even in LA, kind of just needed to be seen to to uh, to get it, but it it was funny. Kind of did a did a music video thing with it. Uh, for me, there was a little bit too much self congratulatory stuff. Uh, I could have done a little bit without. There was a lot of that. Um, padded padded out the show a little too much with that. Uh, but it's the first episode, so I guess he can, you know, pat himself on the back a little bit. I mean, he's clearly happy. At one point he said that this was his, was his dream job. So I can understand him kind of just being uh, caught in the moment and just kind of just praising everybody, praising the set designer, praising blah, 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 blah. I could have done with some a little less of that. But really... I, I think this is kind of a win-win scenario for everybody. If you're a fan of Jay Leno, you're still going to have him in the fall. Uh, if you're a fan of Conan O'Brien, you still have him. And uh, and now we got a new guy. We got Jimmy Fallon along later at night. Um, so if you're not a fan of Jimmy Fallon, really, you're just getting an extra hour of sleep. Just think of it that way. Um, and uh, I guess uh, if you don't like any of them, then um, you're not going to watch NBC. I guess you'll watch... Uh, Jimmy Kimball or, you know, Craig Ferguson. And uh, more power to you. But I, I'm pretty happy with uh, with this new lineup. I wasn't a huge fan of uh, Leno, so I won't be watching him at 10. But I I'm um, I, I like this uh, new uh, Conan, uh, Jimmy, back-to-back, -to -back, uh, head-to-head uh, thing. It, it, it works for me. Uh, I, I'm happy. So, uh, and... Uh, his first, uh, I should mention that the first guest was uh, was Will Ferrell, and uh, Will Ferrell just uh, doing his thing, having a good time. Uh, he did a, a nice little uh, scripted bit that was his tips to Conan O'Brien now that he's living in L.A., uh, including uh, my favorite, uh, you can borrow any L.A. cop's gun for a day. It's the law. Legally, you can do it. I, I thought that was a, I thought that was pretty pretty amusing, and the musical guest was Pearl Jam giving a world premiere of a song. Personally, I'm not a huge fan of Pearl Jam. Didn't seem like it was anything special, but I get the significance of having Pearl Jam and having the world premiere. I mean, that's pretty cool. So, anyway, this is Alec, and uh, keep watching.